Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. The long wait is finally over. Apple has refreshed its popular iMac. And uh, I don't know if you can really see that effectively. Of course, you could visit the webpage directly. This thing, at a glance, looks so thin, it's almost like that screen doesn't exist. Of course, as you turn the corner, you can see the bulge in the back. I mean, the computer has to go somewhere. It looks stunning from a distance. But of course, it's not just the design that they upgraded. They, of course, upgraded the internals. Of course, you got a beautiful widescreen display, high-performance technologies on the inside, and of course, they're happy to say that it's running Mountain Lion. Starting... At $1299, that's the 21.5 inch model starting in November. And then the 27 inch model is starting at $1799 coming in December. So $1299 uh, for this particular computer is not that bad a deal, considering that old iMacs have been great. Sorry, that, that was my attempt at doing air quotes old, because even newer iMacs are, you know, very, very nice computers if you've ever used one, if you've never seen one in person, maybe you're missing out on part of that experience if design matters. So, why would you want the new iMac? One, you've been waiting for a new Mac desktop. And I'm still running on a Mac Pro as my primary machine, but now my 15-inch display Retina MacBook Pro runs faster than my Mac Pro. It's newer. Uh, and the Retina, or the, uh, the Mac Pro, just they just haven't updated it enough for me to want to upgrade. I'm powering two 30-inch screens behind me. This is what you see in pretty much every single video, at least the screensaver running on one. Uh, I, I have no uh, you know need to necessarily update to a new desktop yet, but I'm, I'm considering it. This new iMac looks kind of nice, and I, I'm missing the speed on my primary uh, desktop. Uh, two, you don't need a computer to be portable. So get something that's going to be planted in one space. And that's, you know, where the Mac Mini comes in and, of course, where the iMac comes in. Of course, you can keep your note com notebook computer with one space, but it's not as easy to move that iMac around. So if you don't need to be portable, the iMac may be a good option. Uh, and the third thing, and this is really, and I mentioned this in another video today, uh, this is really becoming a part of, of Apple's strategy. You don't plan on upgrading internals. And... Uh, that may be an issue for you, but it may not be an issue for you. If you buy that computer and you expect to use the computer the way it is for its life, hey, you know, another four years from now, there are going to be faster, better computers available. And you could upgrade bit by bit, piece by piece. Sure, I mean, I've done that with a Mac Pro, but I got to tell you, I didn't do it as much as I thought I would. And when I upgraded one component over another, uh, the only time it was uh, any kind of boost, it was specifically with the uh, the I.O., uh, the SSD over a hard drive, and I did that years ago. Uh, so there are many reasons you might want this. Those are just three. Why you wouldn't want this if you don't want an all-in-one PC. Some people are just not fans of the all-in-one idea. You know, they want to have different components. There's something to be said about having everything all-in-one, but of course, if a component breaks inside or something happens, you got to take the whole thing in. You can't just, you know, disassemble it and something, you know, goes here, goes there, goes wherever. Uh, if you do not want that all-in-one experience, the iMac is definitely not for you. Of course, a lot of PCs out there happen to be the all-in-one experience, and, and people seem to like those, so this just happens to be Apple's uh, version of an all-in-one PC, as it has been pretty much from the beginning of the iMac line. Uh, if you do not need a higher resolution display, that's valid for me. Uh, you know, I would probably, if I had upgraded uh, my Mac Pro to an iMac, I would probably go with these 27 inch uh, and, and potentially connect a uh, Thunderbolt display to it, although they haven't updated the Thunderbolt displays yet. I'm waiting for that and then I may upgrade. Uh, I've got do uh, two, <laughs> I'm trying to say dual or two 30-inch displays uh, connected to the Mac Pro, pushing 2560 by 1600 pixels, which I, you know, I love personally because I am a big fan of, of big screens. I mean, I don't think anybody would argue against having, you know, larger screens in general. Uh, it's just that there would be a slightly lower screen resolution available in the 27-inch model. So I don't know if I'm really uh, in that um, space for it. Uh, I wouldn't upgrade the iMac that you can't really see off the side of the screen, if only because I don't use it all that much, uh, as much as I thought I would. It, it, Diana may be inheriting that uh, over the next couple of months, actually, just because I'm not using it all that much. She does not have a desktop PC. Uh, and then you wouldn't want this because your current computer is already a champ. Cool. You don't need to upgrade. If you've got an iMac that you're happy with, you don't need to upgrade, don't have to upgrade. It's just that this is there, for people who are buying a new computer are ready to upgrade. So if you're out in, in, the, in the mall or stores or you're looking for an option, 
The iMac is a great desktop computer. In fact, uh, it was kind of surprising. In all the announcements that Apple made today, uh, I saw more people talking about the new iMac than any other product. Uh, they've already decided on the tablet experience that they wanted, but they're looking for a new desktop. And they're looking for a good desktop, a quality desktop with quality components. The iMac rules the roost. There are a lot of great desktops out there, but for, for Windows, uh, for OS X, or even for Linux, uh, well, the Mac is no slouch. So uh, it's good to see that they finally updated it with all the internals uh, that, that you know we've seen updated in the other products that Apple has released other than that Mac Pro. That's the big question. Are they going to kill it at some point? We don't know. The new iMac. Are you going to get one? 